My vocal is a little hot all of a sudden, so it could come down a bit here in the monitor. Thanks for stopping by here in this beautiful new location. Our first time here in the new location, the Vinyl Renaissance. Our first show in Kansas in a very long time. Um, we're happy to be here. All right. We put out a lot of new records in the last couple months. <coughs> the first. Um, we're playing a bunch of songs today off of a double CD that we just put out called Euphoric Ouroboor and Remember My Future. And it's not out on vinyl yet, but we have the double CDs we just got. And Sue's just put out a solo record uh, just a month and a half ago that we just picked up the vinyl for right before we came here to the Midwest. So we have those with us and um, we're playing we're gonna play some songs from those records for you.
Someone's your way, just ignore what they say. You will do what the others just dream. You got that voice of gold done with doing what you told your world that we all came to see. last wedding we played, we, we weren't really uh, asked to play the wedding, but Sue's kind of invited us to play it because she found out that these fans, they wanted us to record a video for their wedding. And when we found out the date of it, we realized it was on our one day off on tour and it was in the town we were going to be in. So Sue called up this poor fan and said, you asked us to play this song like as a recording to, to give your fiance the morning of the wedding, but what if we just come play it in person? And then I said, actually, what if we just come play your wedding? Um, he said yes. She said yes. And so we showed up in Troy, New York. So anything can happen, basically. We've done that with a couple of bar mitzvahs. And, you know, it's always worked out great. How you doing, man? i 
through. Listen and you'll know what to do. Every feeling is passing through. Listen and you'll know what to do. Up against these dark and wild things. These dark and wild things. The world needs all of our love. The world needs all of our love. All right, Suze. Yes. You up for singing any song? Oh, sure. Yours? Okay, my mic? No. Oh, yeah. I'm going to play this oh. on your song. I was afraid that was going to happen when you just put that out. You're I like, know. What song oh, yeah. like? We don't have all our instruments up here. Did you? Oh, you don't have your instruments up here. I don't, but I might be able to fake it. Me too, on piano? <laughs> You might have to do a, a video recording for them later. Yeah, yeah. How about once you turn off the live, you can just come in and try to right. play with you. That's true. We'll FaceTime. We'll just FaceTime them here and we can do it. Right. Post show. Okay. I'm going to help move over your mic, maybe. Uh, postscript. that I used to have, which was more intricately linked with loneliness and kind of despair. And um, I've been very public about um, my bipolar disorder that I was diagnosed with in my 20s. And having lived with it for so long now, I feel like I'm able to kind of ride the ups and downs without having them feel quite as lonely. And that's been such a wonderful part of getting older, to just be able to watch the brain go down and then come up again and not have it be quite as heavy. So this song is, um, oh, it references that and many other things. <laughs>
to our true life. Your table's ready if you're lonely. Grab the fork and knife. Slice into the meat. Watch the juices pour. Hold it to your tongue. Feel the hunger roar. Loneliness is measured by the face in the window. She pushed away the wine and said, I don't think so. Giving up is something you can never do alone. The body is a field. The path is overgrown. It was not your song, you were keep humming it afterwards. That's funny. <laughs> that melody is just stuck in my head. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that is, that is on the faster side. Yeah, I gotta work on pacing myself. It's my song. We just did an official Sue's album release show last last week. In our barn. Was it really last week? Two weeks ago? Don't ask me about time. We just, over the pandemic, we built a barn venue recording studio in our backyard. And so we've been just doing our first our first shows there. So anytime you guys want to come see a show in Charlottesville, it's a long drive, but it's well worth it. It's very beautiful. And it's only two roads. You get on 70, you get on 64. You get off our house. It's just two roads. <laughs> All right, this will be the final official song, and then we're going to play a postscript for Daniel and Emily. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll try try to play that song. <laughs>
outside the bar that night in Red Hook. What do you to tell you everything? Turn the pages of our little book. I didn't have the courage to put it in words. I didn't know you had already heard. Hey, 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 Possible to make a fresh start. Your vivid heart, scientific mind, so much love. last night in Kansas City and then we're not uh, we're, played, uh, we're playing in Columbia on Saturday. <laughs>